combination. Alright, put them together. Alright, so day 13 in a scale. Scale drawing one centimeter, so I'm gonna write one centimeter. It's 2.75 feet, or if you want to write two. Uh, I'll leave it at two and three fourths. You have a choice though. All right, every centimeter is two and three fourths feet. The length of a kitchen is four and a half centimeters. What is the actual length in feet of the, so in that reality, what's the length of that kitchen, right? On the map, the drawing is four and a half centimeters long. So proportion plus multiply x times one is x, and then you just multiply two and three fourth times four and a half, and in real life the kitchen is twelve point three seventy five feet four. If you add uh, what do you call it? fraction, what is it three over eight? Yeah, or twelve and three eighths. Two with circumference, more circumference problems. Circumference, here's a circle. It's 15 feet, 15 pi, so the circumference. Take a walk around this circle, it's 15 pi. What is the area? So, in order to do the area, we need the radius. Or if you find the diameter, divide it by half to get the radius. So, C equals pi D. Circumference is 15 pi. Equals pi times diameter. Divide both sides by pi. And I get the diameter is 15. Oh, if I have the diameter, divide that by 2, and I get the radius 7.5. Now I can do the area. Area equals pi r squared. Area equals pi times radius 7.5 to the second power. Which is 56.25, so area equals 56.25 pi unit square. Right, so if you, well, are lucky, I guess we're lucky in a way that they're leaving all the answers in terms of pi, but if you were to multiply that, you will want to go times pi in your calculator, and you would get numerically 176.71 units square. Okay. Three spinner. Okay, which number is reasonable estimate of the num which is the numbers time the spinner will land on section labeled five with a force of 150 spins. So let's find the probability of landing on five first of all. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's a total of twelve, and five shows up once, twice, three twelve. So the probability of landing of 5 is 3 over 12. Let's simplify that to 1 fourth. So you have a 25% chance on landing on 5. And if you spin that 150 times, so let's multiply that by 150. So, and you get about 37, sorry, 37. So expect about 37, or 38, sorry, 38 spins will land on the number five. What's the closest one? Right there. Four, seventh grade ELA teacher wants to order books. He wants to determine the flavor type of book among seventh grade teachers. Sorry, students, which sample would be the most appropriate for this survey? Ask seven girls in each of his classes. Uh, nope. Every fifth student in the seventh grade. One out of seven students in his middle school. All the boys in one of his seventh grade classes. Well, asking only seven girls in each class is biased, right? Because they're all girls. Every fifth student in the seventh grade sounds okay. Random. Uh, one out of seven students in his middle school, no, because he wants to order for seventh grade. So eighth grade, he wouldn't ask, neither he would ask the sixth grade, so that's gone. All the boys, and again, you can't just ask all the boys, so that would be 
y. So the only one that makes any sense would be 5. Two box plots, bowling team participates, records the scores for each member on both days. The scores for both days are represented. The scores on Fridays and the scores on Saturday have the same median. That's not true. So if you look at the median, this is the median, and this is the median for Friday. Are they the same? No. Gone. The scores on Friday have a greater median and a greater interquartile range than the scores on Saturday. So has a greater median, right? The median's right here, so that's a check. But the interquartile range sounds, look at the box, right? When you say IQR, I want you to look at the size of the box. They look about the same size. So I'm going to say no. <coughs> Excuse me, no to that. The scores on Friday have a greater interquartile range than the scores on Saturday. The scores on Friday. Again, is the box on Friday bigger than the box on Saturday? I'm going to say no to that. The scores on Friday have a greater median, yes, this line right here is greater, this line, right? And, but both data have the same interquartile range, so I was saying before, the boxes I mean, look about the same size, right? So D is our answer. Six passenger train has eight tickets available for 12 window seats. And eight aisle seats. Next person to buy a ticket will be randomly assigned one of those seats. Yuck. What's the probability the next person will be assigned an aisle seat? Well, how many seats are there to begin? There's 20. How many aisle seats? Eight out of 20. So, what's the probability that when you buy the ticket, you get an aisle seat? Well, the probability be eight out of 20. When you have eight out of 20 chance of getting an aisle seat. Let's simplify that. Divide by four, 250 chance. So you have a buck. 40% chance of getting an ice. Okay, collects data, basketball season to determine the probabilities of different teams. The probabilities over four favorite teams are to win the championship, playing the championship, or show the Tigers have two thirds chance, the Redbird four fifths, the Bulldogs three eighths, and the Titans a half. Which of these teams is least likely to play in the tire in the championship team? Well, Two thirds, about 66.6 percent, .6%, right? Four fifths is 80 percent. Three eighths is about 38 percent, and a half is 50 percent. So, who is the least likely? Yikes! Bulldogs. Eight. The results of a survey: 120 students were were selected are listed below. Right, so 60 have cell phone with company X, 36 with company Y, and 24 does not have cell phone. Total population of students was 380. Based on the data, what's the best approximation for the total number of students who have cell phone with company Y? Well, in the survey, what was the probability of a student having company Y? Well, it was 36 out of 120. Right? 36 out of 120 had so you can use that to sort of predict how many out of 380 we have, what do you call company Y as their cell phone provider. Well, just multiply them. Um, 36, 120 times 380, and you get 114. Um, okay, so nine. An electronic sign to show the speed of motors when installed. The line plot shows the speed of some motors before and after the sign was installed. So before the sign, the speeds of the car were one guy driving at 40, two guys driving at 35, two guys at 30, four guys at 25, etc. After the sign, notice that their speed lowered, right? Nobody, at, nobody is driving at 40, one 35, a few at 30, etc. Based on this data, data. What is true about the speed of the motors? The mean speed and the range of the speed as the motors decreased. The mean speed, well the mean, the average speed decreased. Is that true after? Yes. I think the average speed, uh, yeah I think it decreased. 
did the range decrease as well? Remember, range is the highest minus the lowest. Before it was 40, the highest, 40 minus the lowest is 20, so the range was 20, and now the range is 15, so the range definitely was lower. Um, what else? That's true. The medium speed and the range of the speed of the motor is increased, so that's not true. Right, the range did not increase, so the CB is gone. The mean speed of the motors decreased and the range of the of the speeds increased. That's not true. Again, I told you the range decreased. The median speed increased and the range of the speeds decreased. The median did not increase. Okay. Uh, so A is the only one that makes sense. Okay. Ten. Can make the circle smaller. So the lace border has 50 inches long around, so the circumference is 50 pi, 50 pi inches by the way. What is the length of the radius? So we want the radius given the circumference. Right. So we want the radius. And we have the circumference. So c equals pi d, and they give us c equals 2 pi r, which you can also use. So I'm just going to stick with this. c equals pi d, the circumference is 50 pi. And then pi times d. We want to isolate d. How do we do that? We divide both sides by pi. That goes away. Divide the other side by pi. That goes away. So the circumference, sorry, the diameter is, so this diameter is 50. The diameter is 50. The radius is 25. So the answer, the multiple choice answer here. So the answer is b, 25. 11. A number cube, okay, a die. She rolled 60 times. She recorded the, what do you call it? She recorded the results below. <coughs> Based on her experiment, Debbie expected each number of the cube to appear an equal number of times. Which statement best compares the results of Debbie's rolls with her expectation? So, theoretically, each number would have been, so the probability of rolling them one is one out of six, right? So if you, multi if you roll that 60 times, you expect the world the one to come out 10 times. So that's the experimental. So let me write experimental, what happened in the experiment. Theoretically, she was expecting that the one showed up 10 times, the two would show up 10 times, the three, the four, the five, and the six. Each number was supposed to show up 10 times. That's theoretical. So look at A. A says Debbie rolled more fives than expected. Is that true? No. She was expecting 10, she got 4. So A is not true. Let me write this. A is not. B, Debbie rolled fewer 4s than expected. Well, no. She was expecting 10, she rolled 11. So B is also not good. C, Debbie rolled more 3s than expected. expected. So C, wow, she was expecting 10 and she got 15, 18. So that's true. And D, Debbie rolled fewer twos than expected. No, she was expecting 10. And how many twos did she got? She got 15. So D is wrong. So final answer, C. Twelve, 500 students in the school. He wants to survey a sample to determine what's the most popular subject. What sampling method is the best to use to predict that? To predict most popular so, uh, sub subject in school. Select 50 students from the student list of 500. Okay, that looks good. Randomly select, so definitely. Randomly select 10 students having lunch in the cafeteria. Um, I'm gonna say no to that because let's say you go to lunch period four, um, that would be all sixth graders, right? It's gonna have a completely different opinion than seventh graders. And, and 10, it's not enough. So B is not. C, select 50 first girls entering the auditorium for an assembly. Absolutely not. Right? Bias. We want the girls. And then uh, select the first 25 students leaving the building after school. <sighs> no, because it says the first 25 students, and again, they could all be from the same class, right? We're not talking about the every fifth student leaving the school, or every tenth of the year. It says the first 25 students, and most likely, right, they could be all from the same class. That would not work. 
13. Karen survey students in one middle school about their favorite band. Of the 1,556 students in the middle school, 65 sixth graders were surveyed. More than half of 65 students said their favorite band is Rhonda and the G's. Based on the survey, Karen says most middle school students' favorite band is Rhonda and the G's. Why is Karen's statement is incorrect? Well, there's 1,156 students in the middle school. Problem is, she asked 65 sixth graders. All right? Did she ask any seventh graders? Did she ask any eighth graders? So, and then she said half of the 35, half of the 65, so half of the 65 said Rhonda and the G's, but they were all sixth graders. So, it, Karen, let's see what what why is Karen's statement incorrect? Karen surveyed too many students. No, that's not incorrect. Karen survey sample was too small. Um, maybe. Karen did not survey any high school students. No, that's not it. Karen did not include enough bands in the survey. Uh, Karen survey. So the only one here. That makes sense. What the Karen survey sample was too small again because she did not include seventh grader or eighth graders. Okay. Fourteen. Another box plot. Oh yeah, it fits. All right. So distance from the school. What is it? This that his teachers and the bus drivers live from the school. Okay, the plot, box plot. Well, show the data. So you're right. So I can say 25% of the teachers live from 5 to 15 miles away from school. Another 25% of the teachers live from 15 to 25 miles away from school. And then another 25% of the teachers live 25 to 30 miles away from school. And then another 25% of the teachers live 30 to 35 miles away from school. And same thing for the bus drivers. That's 25%, 25%, 25%. Which statement is true? The interquartile range of the distance for the bus ride is twice the interquartile range of the distance for the teachers. Well, look at the so the interquartile interquartile range is the size of this box, right? Is the size of this box greater than the teacher's box? No, that's not true. The range of the distance for the teachers is twice the range of the distance for the bus drivers. Well, the range for the teachers is 35 minus 5, my highest minus lowest, which is 30. Bus drivers, the range is 30 minus 5. Which is 25. Is the range for the teachers twice the range? No, it's not. The interquartile range of the distance for the bus driver is five miles less than the interquartile range of the distance for the teachers. That could be a possibility. Let me hang on to that. The range of the distance for the teachers is five miles less than the range of the distance for the bus drivers. Actually, the bus driver is five miles less range wise. So this is gone. So the only one that I'm left over is C. So let's calculate C. So Interquartile range is this number over here, right? So if you I actually define the interquartile range for each one, we would measure the size of the box. So this one is the box, right? The edge of the box is 30 minus what is this number here? 50. So the interquartile range for the teachers is 15. Bus drivers, what's this number right here? The number right here is 20, and this number right here is 10. So the interquartile range for the bus drivers. So it says that the interquartile range of the distance for the bus drive is five miles less. Is it five miles less? Yes, it is. Then the interquartile range of the distance for the teacher. So the interquartile range for the teacher is 15, the bus drive is 10, and which is five miles less. Okay.